News magazine in Russia. Mr. Shrav will explain, along with Mr. Heckel, a joint venture entitled Mars 500. And Mr. Heckel, what is Mars 500? That's correct. Mars is reached the Mars and 500 are the days who will need to reach the Mars and come back safely to the Earth. One travel needs 540 days to the Mars. It's not a, day, it's a three day trip like Apollo to the Moon. And the mankind must know what is not possible to build in, in a spaceship to, to reach that goal. Mm -hmm. And so this is a biomedical experiment with a six-man crew on a super long time duration simulation to fly to the Mars, but the module is standing on the Earth's ground, pressurized with air, with um, um, life support systems, and they eat the, the same uh, meal the, what you have in space. Mm -hmm. And they want to know if they get um, psychological, hygienic, or other medical problems on the long time of, simul of isolation in that module. And this module is had the same have the same size as uh, international International Space Station ISS. Mm -hmm. And it will start, it is start now for a uh, first stage of 105 days. Mm -hmm. But we have a guest from all the way from Moscow, this is Pavel, and he was at the, at the opening ceremony and he can tell us more about that program. Hello. First of all, I would like to say that our magazine is a major partner of this project and I'm fully involved in this area, so it's very inter interesting for me. But I need to correct Mr. Heckel, it's not the first phase, but the second stage of this project. The first was in the November 2007, and the six guys are going to uh, this uh, module for two weeks. Uh, well, and now uh, it's uh, the second stage of this project. So it's uh, mainly a uh, Russian mm -hmm. project, uh, but uh, European Space Agency are also involved mm -hmm. in this work, uh, as well as the National Space and Biological Research Institute uh, from the United States. So America or NASA Amer is involved? NASA sorry. is not involved, but they are interested uh, in the results, uh, what we will uh, take from the, this project. Um, what can I say special? It's a simulation. As it's I a simulation, it yeah, yeah. And I think that this experiment is the most uh, full experience ever held uh, that will simulate the flight to Mars and back. And uh, it's mainly uh, uh, will give results of uh, what uh, people can do uh, in the isolated area during the such a long uh, period. So how uh, they will be connect uh, with each other. So uh, that's, uh, you should know that it's an international project. So the crew consists of uh, six members, uh, two of which are from Europe, France and Germany, and the four guys are from Russia. Okay. And um, I know the Mars trip is down the road, <laughs> but how, how long is it before you think that uh, Earth people from Earth, Russia, uh, Germany, United States, can go to Mars. When, when will that be? When it will be able. Yeah, when will we oh, be able to go? It depends on what we should do now. The, f the future be uh, This is the first step to yes, finding out when But uh, as, a, I can add, as, as one of the crew said, that uh, we didn't make a first step to the Mars, but we raised our leg. Mm, okay. I think uh, in easy uh, words, you must have the car to do that. Mm -hmm. We can go to the Mars now, but we have not the car for this. Mm -hmm. Like uh, Columbus, he must have a ship. Mm -hmm. He cannot paddle by himself over the ocean. And uh, so this car must uh, bring, or the spaceship, bring mankind safely to the Mars and back to the Earth. Mm -hmm. We have nothing from that when we have dead people. Mm -hmm. So, and the life support systems are the most important thing in this module, in this in the spaceship. And so it is unbelievable that uh, now we have a space station and a crew, uh, one mission is sitting uh, 180 days for that in, inside uh, a duration, come back uh, with a Soyuz capsule or with a shuttle and sit on the ground and can't move any leg for two weeks and must um, build up their body in the next four weeks mm -hmm. that they can walk uh, through a forest. Mm -hmm. So, and when you think about it, it was that one track needs 400, uh, 240 days and you will land on a Mars surface and they sit on the spaceship and cannot go out 
Mm. And so we will no, have no evidence. Mm. And that's why that we sit with, um, um, with the partners of the Internet, uh, e Institute of Biomedical Problems, the host of this uh, experiment, mm -hmm. together and ask the question, what can you do that when you uh, go with your people in a simulator for uh, 400, uh, 240 days on uh, wrong direction, on the other direction, mm -hmm. and land on the Mars, mm -hmm. uh, then you must uh, simulate, stand up, going to another room outside of the mm -hmm. spaceship. You know when the people are sitting in the same room and, and some is two years he coming out, he have sweat and mm -hmm. big heartbeat and the, the psychological problems, and mm -hmm. then sit on the car and he, uh, he drive to the next to tree. So, um, so you must touch or you must test it if it is possible that two uh, cosmonauts or astronauts with a spacesuits can right. sit on a Mars buggy mm -hmm. and drive this Mars buggy around the course so they have a, a, a like a handicap seat mm -hmm. and and they are handicapped uh, because they can't move so much they, might, they must make sports and they, but they lose their bones they lose that uh, and all the things yes yeah. Okay, uh, we have some photos. I'd like to uh, hear your comments about uh, some of the photos we have of the Mars 500 coming up. So it's uh, the press conference that uh, was held on uh, 30, uh, 31 of March. This is the six people that it, are this in? This is the uh, six people that are now uh, sitting uh, inside the models. Uh -huh. uh, uh, it's uh, on the left hand, uh, there are two guys from Europe. Uh, on the center is Sergei Rizansky. Actually, he's a uh, grandson of the famous uh, uh, chief designer right. Mikhail Ruzansky. Uh -huh. Yeah, the next is uh, Oleg Artemyev. He's from Rocket Space Corporation Energia. And uh, two guys on the right.